hello there, I didn't see you there. My name is Julian, you might have heard me as my uh, yes, cosplay slash stage name, Megalink Joland. Here at Uproar Design and Print Studio, we're hoping to help them get their website out in the open and here to represent what they do here because I am a huge Pokemon nerd. If you have a fantasy interest for stuff like fantasy, Dungeons and Dragons, World of Warcraft, or other sorts of interests like Pokemon in my case for instance, and several other interesting stuff including Fanami, then I believe Uproar Design and Print will be the studio for you. I am here today representing their website, which I have early access to, and some examples of the products that they have out right here in front of me. As you can see, I have current access to the website, which I have an early preview of, showing you what they do here, including a prints, 3D print. So as you can see, what navigating through this website is easier than uh, going through their SD page because it still has a few bugs left in it and it still has some, needs some work. So if you want to buy stuff like 3D prints and you want to go to stuff like Mini Monster Mayhem, they have products like Swoltru right here because that's where he comes from. And if you want to purchase like stuff like uh, other stores such as SD who gives you a limited number of options to choose from we actually give you, you the customer to get select the uh, give you the power to select your model and size like for example if you want seven uh, millimeters or 75 millimeters you can uh, select that model size add it to your cart and with that, you are good to go because this option uh, gives you more power to, and freedom to choose the size and model that you want. Now, for those of you, if uh, uploading your art, own artwork is uh, your thing or anything else for that matter involving uh, art printing, you, all you need to do is go with print with us, select art printing, scroll down right here. Uh, say, if, for example, if you want to do like Say this for example, you can print out your own work with uh, specialized paper or if uh, browsing uh, for your own uh, stuff or, or if you want to add, add your own files, say we'll be using an example from uh, May Joan Neens uh, who works here as well. We can add that one. You have the power to crop your photo, reverse it or whatever it allows upload and give it a sec and you, we, you will have the option to do that as well just don't forget to hit the accept button uh, give it a sec it's still loading All right, upload complete, add to your cart. And there you have it. You'll be able to upload your own artwork, uh, as I mentioned. And you'll be good to check out right here. I pretty much concluded the general walkthrough of the entire website and what it's basically like. I hope you can check it for yourself once the website launches, March 18th, and don't forget the date. So now that that's over with, let's move on to some examples of what they have for examples of models right in front of me here. As you can see right in front of me, there's some amazing examples of what they have right here with amazing details like that from the scales to the feathers on the wings like this one for example. This one is called Force Dragon. It looks elegant, it'll, be, it'll, look, it'll look even more elegant as they get in color. Um, my only concern with this one is that the uh, issue with uh, some of the details like stuff at the ends are going to be easy to break off. But, and uh, moving on to this one, this is uh, sort of, it's pretty much a buff version of Pikachu and that type of, uh, that's uh, somewhat interesting since I've grown up with Pokemon ever since I was a child. Uh, the uh, Pokemon Yellow version was the very first one I played. And uh, let's move on to say this one for example. There is, uh, I uh, pretty much love dragons in general, and uh, there's a little knight uh, riding on the back of the side right here. Let me see if I can turn it over. Oops. Yeah, there, there's a little knight right here riding his things. 
Anyways, um, on a night riding a horse, steed, a horse or a steed is always pretty cool. But uh, personally, I think uh, night riding a dragon is even better. Mm -hmm. uh, that way, you can uh, scare your enemies more. Uh, I've always wondered what the story would be like if that actually happened in like middle the Middle Ages, if dragons actually existed. And like, if you're interested in like Chinese mythology or the lore, Chinese dragons were always considered a symbol of good luck. And I've always uh, liked dragons from various uh, parts of the country, not just or Europe. And I like, and who doesn't love a dragon knight holding a sword, huh? Yeah, looks like the Excalibur from uh, the Legend of King Arthur, or maybe the uh, Master Sword from the Legend of Zelda series. Yeah, I. I personally find that pretty cool. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my overall review on Uproar Art and Prints. I hope you can check them out once the website launches on March 18th, so mark your calendars, nerds. And I hope you can enjoy these dragons as much as I did, down to every last uh, scale and detail, with the emphasis on scales, because they're lizards. <laughs> And I hope to see you all there. And as for me, I hope you can check me out on my social medias like my Instagram, Facebook page, and Twitter. But catch me live on Twitch. And and like I said, hope to see you all there. There it is. Goodbye and have a nice rest of your evening.